mind shift Secret indictments, nine slip for mind shit This how we get up I'm just going to read a short statement. That wasn't I'm, it. No. I'm sorry I couldn't be with you all here today, but my father's been ill. I want to thank Showtime, and particularly Ken Hirschman, for creating the sensational Super 6 tournament. I'm glad that Alan Green has been given the deserved opportunity to fight champions and establish himself as the most dangerous man at 168 pounds. I'd like to thank Goose and Tudor, for this has not been an easy process. Though this was contractually a true co-promotion, as Dan mentioned earlier, Team Ward was promised to fight in Oakland, and Alan Green agreed in order to give the opportunity to beat Andre Ward. We believed we had an agreement with Goose and Tudor for a Nevada referee oh to work boy. the fight. Yeah. The commission has informed us that Ryan Kaya Sr. has been appointed as the referee. While we're not getting the benefit of our bargain, we trust that the California Commission and Raul Kayas will operate professionally and fairly Please. as we know that they will. Please, man, you're California. <clears throat> Um, we have a couple of DVDs on the side if you guys like to see. <clears throat> we also wanted to mention that Andre Ward's a great young fighter and a quality person beyond measure. We know that this is a great challenge for Alan Green, and on June 19th, the Super 6 will be turned upside down when Alan Green's hammer of four lands on Andre Ward. Thank you very much. Well, yeah, thank you. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to make I'm going to make one comment on it, okay? And I really don't want to prolong it because you know one thing that Andre Ward, his whole team, and myself have always you know been cognizant of is to try to make sure that whatever uh, 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 direction that we want to end up in is that that, that we've talked about with other opposing promoters is that what happens. And Lou's mentioning something that Andre Ward had no problem with, with whoever the official was. As a matter of fact, to this day, Andre's never asked me who a referee is, who a judge is. He doesn't care. He goes out there and fights. Back in May, early May, I left three messages. I spoke to Lou DeBella three different times. I said, Lou, put together your list of who you will approve. And I never received anything back from him. I sent him an email on May 13th. Lou, please put your list together so we can be on top of this. Didn't hear back from him. Get the list of officials. Of course it's not who we want because he never put anyone down. Bottom line is, is that I don't want this as a part of the discussion because it shouldn't be part of the discussion because we don't care who the officials are. Okay, huh? Yeah, and, and especially out in the open. But, you know, the, the bottom line is, is that whatever way we could have accommodated them, we would have. We had no problem because we've got enough confidence in Andre Ward to be the judge and jury and referee and everything else out there. But anyway, that's the only comment I wanted to make on it. Uh, hopefully we'll get back to what we've got here is a great fight and no controversy based upon uh, someone believing there's a controversy. Uh, he had his opportunity to do whatever he needed to do and he didn't do it. Um, but I know we're going to win the tournament, but I can definitely tell you that Alan Green, out of the other five guys, I know he had the heart, he had the determination, and he's going to come to fight. But as we know, you got number one and you got number two. And at the end of the day, Andre Ward is still going to be the WBA champ. Alan Green going to finish behind him. And I said it once before, he'll go on and beat Miguel Kessler. Then he might get a chance to fight Andre Ward again in the finals. But it's no question, Andre Ward is going to win the fight Saturday night. <laughs> Thank you. A lot of, you know, you hear certain things they say about Alan Green, he has heart, he has legs are gone, uh, certain things. They don't understand the things that happened in prior fights before we got to the stage we're right now. We're just happy to be here. 
everyone's pretty much picked on to the wins. I don't know why, why we showed up. These, uh, Brother Prince said he's going to he come, come and go to war. But one thing you got to remember, when you go to war, you leave yourself open for punches. And this brother right here, he got dynamite in both hands. Don't look for just one hand, because we got both of them working on both hands. So if, if Andre comes to, to go to war, that's exactly what we want. And if he does that, he won't have the champ anymore. But, you know, other than that, he's a good brother. I like him. Listen, he has a great upbringing. He's a, he's a, he's a hell of a... Alan Green was not taken lightly. His brain trust was not taken lightly. Um, his flaws, we identified them. His strengths, we have identified them. Um, a lot has been said about what's coming out of his hands. But uh, if you really look at the records, we have the higher knockout percentage. Um, so I don't know what that means. I think that people's opinions and people's facade uh, 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 are, have formulated in their mind that Alan Green is not going to get hit. And those punches are going to take off, and those punches are going to land. And they're going to land with great accuracy. And I just have to be honest in saying, judging from the uh, competition so far that he has faced and the fighters that he's faced, this is the first time that he's really going to get hit. This is the first time that he's really going to find out how violent Andre Ward really is and how strong that he really is. It's from the outside of that ring to the untrained eye, it looks like finesse because he does it so easily. But you ask that fighter to have been in there, you watch him after the first and second round when they realize, well, I'll just stay in your chest. Not strong enough. Well, I'll just do this, not quick enough. He's going to get hit. He's not going to have an opportunity to rest. He's not going to have an opportunity to think. He's going to have to fight as hard as he's ever fought before and as quick as he's ever fought before. And that's in our zone. Everything we do, we do with speed. He's going to have to step it up. If he stays where he is in the speed zone, he's going to get chewed up. If his speed comes up out of that speed zone, he's going to be in unfamiliar territory. This is not uh, just idle talk here. Andre has a long way to go. He's only had 20 fights, but I know who he is. I know what he's made of. I know what he's accomplished, and I know where his head is. So I'm just glad we're Rouge, Uzbekistan, you name it. He's been subjected to the booze. He's been subjected to the name calling. We've been there. We've been there. We know what it is. This is not a faucet. You just can't turn it on and turn it off when you get ready to. You have, have to have been there. You just can't say, this is my moment, and I'm going to step up and shine. You have, have to have had the experience and the knowledge of being there. And I think this is, going, this is not going to be a brand new thing to us. It's going to be a brand new thing to Alan, though. Brand new. And he's going to see why this kid is not lost since he's been 12 years old. So I wanted to correct that. Not 13, 12. <laughs> and we didn't lose that one. <laughs> we didn't lose that one. We now... I'll grant you, we went up against a kid whose father was the referee and his mother was a judge. So, so they, they took three points from him saying his head was low. But when you look at the tape, you see a severe beating. So we'll, we, we can live with that. We didn't lose that one. So I have a kid, he does not have the DNA of a warrior. He's not going to stand there and go toe to toe with you. He's not going to sit up there and be Superman and then pretty soon realize later on, hey man, I should have bossed. We're not going to know. We're not going to even do that, okay? We're not going to do that. We're going to do what it always going to do. We're going to shock your mind. We're going to take your heart. We're going to dissect you down. We're going to constrict you. Then we're going to give you a venomous bite. Thank you. First conference. They're looking forward to Saturday night. Uh, and another thing is, I see, uh, I see Mr. Hunter uh, fancies, fancies himself as a philosopher. Take me out, your problem. <laughs> I see he fancies, take fancies me out himself as problem. a philosopher, which, which is cool. But let me get to you. But uh, no, 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 no. See, that, that's the thing. I understand what you're trying but to let do. let me get to you. Which is fine. You can keep saying that. But at the end of the day, I'm fighting out Andre Ward. Let me get to you. I know a lot of people, uh, a lot of people uh, 
like to fight other people's battles and, and do things like that, but it really doesn't bother me. But at the end of the day, Andre Ward is a good young fighter. He's, uh, like I said, he hasn't lost since he was 12 or 13. We understand that we're not uh, minimizing him or undermining him in any way. Uh, there's no need for me to get uh, trucking in here today. I see children here, I see people here, everybody's having a good time. But uh, Saturday night, I will be WA, WBA Super Middleweight Champion. That's what I came here for. I know what I can do. And to dissect me, you gotta have a hell of a scalpel to dissect Alan Green, a hell of a scalpel. 